Okay, so we're in the cockpit of the Lockheed Martin F-21. Uh, so the F-21 is a completely unique aircraft met for the requirements of the Indian Air Force. Uh, this is unlike any other derivative of this particular airplane we've ever made. That's why we called it an F-21. Uh, there are some very unique capabilities associated with this airplane. Uh, some of them are on the outside. Uh, I won't go talk about most of those. We'll talk about the things that are interior to the airplane. Uh, an ESA radar, a new mission computer Ethernet throughout the airplane in a large area display uh, enables some very unique capabilities. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start the simulation. In this particular simulation, it enables us to show multiple capabilities of the airplane all in one scenario. So we're going to begin with there are two air targets up here. I'm going to put both of these particular targets into my air-to-air -air shoot list. And at the same time, I'm going to monitor those guys. I'm going to come and look at my horizontal situation display. While I've been doing this, a surface-to-air missile site has come up on the air. I'm going to geolocate this threat, and I'm also going to jam this particular threat. While I'm jamming this, I'm going to come into my assigned target area. I'm going to expand into the target area. And I'm going to look at individual data link targets that are being sent to me across the network. I'm going to select this particular target. This is a building. And now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a synthetic aperture radar map. Now keep in mind, while I'm doing all of this, they're still tracking the two air-to-air -air targets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to refine the size of the map so that the map is very, very small. I can do this in any weather. It doesn't matter what the outside weather is. I'm going to move over to my synthetic aperture radar map and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink the size of the map and if you can see the symbol we call a rabbit ear I made the rabbit ear small enough to contain the target and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a map inside of there so what I've done is I've commanded the synthetic aperture radar map of the item that I put on the ground it's finished its map here is a picture of the map you can see that the data link said that the target was over here the target that I actually want to bomb is right here. So on this synthetic aperture radar map, I'm going to move and put my cursors into the center of the building. I'm going to tell the airplane to drop here. We're going to go back to my air-to-air -air picture. The two targets are not a threat yet. I'm going to go back to this side. Now what has happened in all of that, how I was taking the map, a surf another surface-to-air missile site that's very close to the target area has appeared. We're going to go and selectively jam this target. Now we're going to call up our air-to-ground weapons. So our air-to-ground weapons are called up. These are actually joint standoff weapons. You can see that they're up and ready. I'm going to select two, 500, apart, 500 feet apart, and head toward my target area. As we head toward the target area, I'm within the launch acceptable region. I have two selected. The target was being jammed, and I'm going to let these two weapons go. You can watch. It takes a few seconds for both of the weapons to leave the aircraft. The weapons are gone. They are flying. I want to go check out to see where my two air-to-air -air targets were. Those two air-to-air -air targets are off here to the side. Notice the ESA has still been keeping track of those. We'll call up our air-to-air -air weapons. Those targets are out of the target area. If you look at the horizontal situation display, I'm still jamming the SA, this SA-6. There are two bad guys that are coming into the target area. They are out of range right now, and for the purposes of the simulation, I'm going to artificially make the airplane move faster so we can demonstrate the air-to-air -air capability of the aircraft. So the two adversaries are now within range. I'm going to have to monitor them with my targeting pod. I'll shoot the first one. And step to the second one. Both of those weapons are on the way. I'm watching them in the targeting pod. The target area is still clear. This is still being jammed. My second weapon will hit in about seven seconds right about now I'm still watching it in my targeting pod if you look out the window you can see I hit the first one off to the right the second one is going to get and if you look at my targeting pod you can see I have hit the second one so with those guys gone I'm going to go back to my point where I was 
took off from. I'll go back and land. That'll be this way. So the airport that I'm going to go land is out there in front of me. Artificially speed me up again so we can get there a little faster. I want to demonstrate a capability of the airplane, and it's called automatic ground collision avoidance. So, if I was to not be paying attention and I let go of the airplane, the airplane knows where it is in space and it says, I'm not going to let you go away today, I'm going to recover for you. It automatically intervenes and prevents me from hitting the ground. Towards the runway here. And the weapons that I released earlier were actually on this target. You can see that the buildings that I made the synthetic aperture radar map are actually burning right now. So I'm going to land at the place that I dropped the bomb. Pretty stable. This is doing this all by itself. All you have to do is trim it up and just let the airplane do it. That's it. Thanks for flying the F-21.